With the hot, dry weather comes an increase in fire activity in Alberta. Around 100 wildfires are currently burning in the province, 29 of which are out of control as of Thursday afternoon. One of those blazes forcing nearly 1,000 people from their homes in the north of the province near Little Red River Cree Nation east of high level. It's slowly creeping up, but we're, we're at a point in stage that uh, we're not too worried about it. For, for our community of Fox Lake and for John Doerr. The fire risk is now very high to extreme across the majority of Alberta, with the province asking for help. About 170 firefighters and overhead staff from Ontario and New Brunswick already helping Alberta wildfire. Although rain is in the forecast and fire officials are hopeful it will help, there's risks that come with it. When we do see these stormy conditions, especially in the northern parts of the province, rain typically comes with lightning, and lightning means new wildfire starts. So we are on high alert in those areas where we are expecting to see storm activity. Fire activity has been low so far thanks to a wet and cool spring, but the area burned has doubled in the last 48 hours alone. A reminder of just how quickly conditions can change. Now, when it comes to the uh, weather conditions, uh, any hot dry weather, especially with wind, is going to affect uh, the, uh, the wildfire and, and uh, how those wildfires spread. Uh, we're seeing uh, pretty intense uh, activity as it stands right now. In response to these scorching temperatures, a fire ban has been issued in Alberta's entire forest protection area, which is highlighted pink on the map on your screen. The ban prohibits outdoor wood fires, fireworks and charcoal barbecues. The province is asking Albertans to do their part to prevent new fires from igniting. In Edmonton, Laura Krause, City News.